cardiac trauma. Right. Let's go. Where's Miss Nina? Morning. Cardiac arrest. No output for two minutes. Bag and compress. Okay, keep bagging. No output. Check his rhythm. That's a shock of all rhythm. Charge in to 150 clear. Can you hear me in the back? Clear. Patient stabilised. Right. Thank you, team. Any feedback? Miss Naylor, happy? Oh, uh, I can't feel nether regions. Light's so bright. Shut up, Michael. Ah, uh, don't pretend you didn't try to grab the goods, girl. I caught you. Don't worry, it's our little secret. Thank you for the cabaret, Mr. Spence. Always a pleasure. Indeed. Well, the system's now in place. Let's make it work for the real patients, please. I declare the Holby Cardiac Trauma Facility trial open. Thank you, team. That was great, but it was just a taster. Things are going to get a lot more hectic, so we need to focus. Yes, all is well. Excuse me. Oh, um, Miss Naylor, do you have a sec? Right, the phone's been installed. I've checked the line, and our first patient, well, real patient, should be arriving any minute soon. Oh, my gosh. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Are you nervous? No, no, we're on it. Um, look, it's great to have you on board. If we can make this work, it would just... Yes, well, I, I am on board. And can you ask the um, guys to keep this gangway clear? It's just there was this monster triffid that I had to move, and it was... Right. Thank you. Right. Oh, what the hell? Have you seen my oriental lily? Oh, she's outlawed it. Gangway hazard. What is she, the sheriff of my ward now? Why could she not have just asked Hanson for a pony? Uh, explain yourself, your ward. Turn of phrase. Anyway, good luck to her. Yeah, well, maybe see here as vanity project will be such a huge success, you'll end up sharing your ward. Whoa, steady on. Seriously, though, just make sure she doesn't humiliate herself today. I'm the nominal consultant on her cardiac trauma facility, not her mother. Mm. Hanson has cancelled all of your electives today so that you can man the bat phone. Have fun. And find my Lily. I hope you don't mind your routine list being cancelled. What with it being our first day at cardiac trauma? It's fine. Cardiac trauma. Help! Me guts are on fire! <laughs> this line is to be kept clear at all times. Do you understand? <laughs> Flash call HDU. Sahira, your post has fallen again. Uh, uh, allow me. Thank you. My pleasure. Obviously, once we get our rhythm going, you know. Honestly, it's fine. Working okay? Perfect. Oh, good. My 82-year-old aortic aneurysm didn't die. Oh, I meant to say, I love your hair. Um, very Marian faithful. Oh. Nice shoes. Black ones. Oh, hey, should I grab a maxi pad and join in the girly fun? Guess not. I need to check on the progress of my patient. Everything's under control, right? Mind your backs. Coming through. Oh. PP 950. Pulse weak and ready. Shouts 95. Right, let's go to the theatre straight away, please. More Ag Morgan. Impaled whilst out on show. What's the palm? 
That ain't cool. No, I've got four minutes to fibrillate. I stemmed the bleed as best I could. Uh, there's a gas explosion in an industrial estate. The paramedic number's 1317. Is there anything I can do? Charge until 150. Clear. No output. Charge until 150. Clear. Five over ten. Uh, she's my work colleague. We were on the shout together. Uh, the, the roof collapsed. No help. Well, why didn't you call ahead? Is there a plan for systemic failures? Charge into one fifth. We had a backup team. They cut her out. Intubation on standby. Clear. A sick and para team cut her out. I froze. Let's concentrate on the job in hand, shall we? No output. Charge into one fifty. Brilliant. That's just brilliant. One hundred. Clear. One fifty. Sorry. One fifty. Clear. No output. And can you tie your hair back? We're in recess with a patient, not backstage with the quo. Okay, again, at 150, clear. No output. My first patient is not going to die. No way. Well? 200. Charging to 200, clear. <sighs> We've got a rhythm. Well done. Now what are we going to do about that? You okay? You feeling better? No, it's a hero, not that. That. It be damage to the aorta. Now we can proceed immediately with removing the pole, or we can do a portable chest X-ray to determine the exact position. This is your trial. I'll support whatever decision you make. Right. She is losing a lot of blood. Yes, I do know that. Just give me a second. If this is a decision you feel uncomfortable making, then I can always take over from here. It's up to you. First things first, let's deal with this. Hypertensive, 90 over 70 and falling. Hypervolemia, 90 over 60. Are there signs of internal bleeding? No evidence. 80 over 60, still falling. Right, okay, so the ECG rules out heart failure, atrial fibrillation, she's convulsing. Oh, come on, come on, think, think. Your call, Sahira. You fainted in recess. Sure did. And the charming Miss Naylor kicked you out of theater. Oh, I need to get back out on the show. No, no, no. You're not allowed to work with an injured. You feeling a little dizzy? All right, here. Why don't you have some of your packed lunch? So, how does someone who is afraid of blood become a paramedic anyway? You're needed. What mm -hmm. meds did you prescribe at the scene? Uh, uh, adrenaline? Paramedics are going to get back to us about the pickup. They're up to their ears right now. How much adrenaline? I... Well, any other drugs? Warfarin? Morphine? Anything else? I don't think so. Well, think harder. Does she have any allergies? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying. I... The other team took over. I, I, I don't know their names. Can I sit down? Please? Oh, here we go. Someone get her a chair. How on earth did you make it through basic training? Try the paras again. Hypoglycemic? Do a blood sugar test. Best people. Test confirmed. 50% glucose IV. Yep, yeah, I'm on it. Patient stabilised. I need to get back to the shout. Look, you've signed off. Please stay here. Right now, you're the only one who has a clue about the patient. You're more use here. There's still the matter of the poles sticking out of her chest. Yes, I know. Okay, so do we wait for chest x-ray or surgery? Your team need an answer. Why are you being like this? Like what? You're the consultant. You're meant to be advising me. I was under the impression that this is your project. I want a chest x-ray. We need to establish any potential damage to the aorta before any surgery. Watch your back! Watch your back! Priority. We need some help here. St. James's coordinator on the phone. What were they thinking? We don't have the capacity. Can I help? You should have been prepared for a communications glitch. No, no, no. Just stay with the pole patient. Don't touch the pole and don't let her bleed out. You are going to have to do something about this, Sahira. Do you even want this trial to succeed? One in five nurses have been cut. And Hanson has handed you a 50 grand project after you insisted you could lead it. So lead it. Or go. Right. The pole patient takes precedence. Jack, yours too. Porter's please, Darwin. Alex. Miss Naylor? I'm on it. What's the problem, please? 
Tension pneumothorax, his lungs collapsed, I'm losing him. You're gonna have to aspirate the right. Yes, I am aware I have to aspirate the right. Right, someone get me a doctor, any doctor, I don't care. Would you like me to have? No, you stay there. BP is through the floor. Go on then. Shall I suture? Just keep your finger on the bleed. 28 empty tube. I'll be two seconds, Jules. Okay, feeling in the tube. Mine's bleeding out, I can't stop it. Well, just patch it, yeah? Hurry. I can't get this into position, no air's draining. Lie in the tatcher cell patch. Cardiac output's going down because of tension. Passing the patch over my finger and over the rupture zone. That gas is a better. Saturation's going up, pressure's going up, 80 over 40. It won't hold! What's the matter with you? Oh, oh Gina, you're not fit to treat. Just sit down. Nancy, I ordered those chest x-rays five minutes ago. Why aren't they in front of me? Where are we going to put them now? Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Boucher. We'll see you in a week. All right, then. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Ugh, blood, blood, more blood. Let's get this cleaned up. It's not a good look. Oh, whoa, whoa. Take the monsters back to the lab. Well, they're cardiac patients now. They need to go somewhere. The ward is full, right? Yeah. HDU is... No way. That is not part of your trial's territory. It's not plastics either. Why do you care? You're going to squeeze two patients in there. Oh, should I chuck the other in a skip? Hey, I have plastics patients arriving. No one wants a five-gram boob job in the middle of a CSI scene. Has anyone got anything useful to say today? Anyone? No? My patients are going into HDU. Power hasn't gone to her head at all. That is quite a mini-me you've created, Naylor. Let the GP have her fun. I hear she just stabilized three lives, simultaneously. Not even lunchtime yet. Still a long way to go. Yep. As soon as we get the X-ray, we'll operate. Nancy, where is it? Too much blood, we need to operate. Just go. No, I'm staying with it. Sahira. It's Grace Harry Oh, Listen to me. Listen to me. You have to stop moving. If you do not stop moving, that pole will rupture your aorta and you will die within minutes. It's this close. Don't move. No. Let's get her anesthetized. Stop. I don't consent. I don't want you to operate. Chance if we operate now. Surgery is your only hope. I'll bleed out the second you touch it. I just want to see my kids one last time. For what it's worth, I would have operated immediately. But you can't wait. She can't, can she? It's arguable the patient's not fit to consent. Well, where she's not? Look at her. Just 20 minutes to see my girls. Right. I need you to concentrate on maintaining her blood pressure. Not questioning my judgment. We'll wait. I'm nearly here. I don't know how much longer we can delay the operation. We're going to have to proceed very soon or not at all? We need to proceed now. Five minutes. Right, team, five minutes. No, no, no. BP's dropping 75 over 38. More units, please, are here. We need to move. She is losing blood faster than we can get it in. Five minutes. Oh, don't just stand there. Do your job and operate. Do my job. My job. If you had done your job at the scene, she wouldn't be in this state. Get out of my theatre. Go! Right. I'm overruling the patient. Intubate her. It's too late. We are doing this operation now. Let's get a flat. It's too late, Sahira. You waited, and now the patient's cardiac function has failed. She's got virtually no output, and without the BP to sustain her under anaesthetic, she's not getting it back. You should have operated when you had the chance. How long? Maybe half an hour. Do we just wait? Or should we tell her daughters? I don't know. 
You don't have to tell them anything, I'll do. She was under this metal thing. No rags like effing and blinding and they just stood there. I'm sure you did your best. She picked the short straw out of me as a protege. Useless. Not great as first days go. It's your first day. If you don't mind, I'd like to break the news to the family. It's not a nice job. I'd like to take responsibility for something today. I was thinking, waiting for an x-ray. Some people just freeze. You enjoying day one? One in five nurses made redundant, Henrik. None of them was indispensable. Fifty thousand pounds. It's a worthy project. I think Miss Naylor should take over the cardiac trauma unit, if you should wish to continue with it. It's understaffed. She's more experienced. Very well. I see you've worked to the best of your medical ability. It's too late to save her. According to whom? You or Miss Naylor? I'm operating. I'm the nominal consultant here. It's a bit late for your input now. She's a lost cause. She's still alive, isn't she? She's as good as dead. You can't stick knives in a corpse just for the sake of it. You think that this is a vanity project to me, don't you? I can save her. Her BP is untenable. She won't survive the anaesthetic. Let her die in peace, not cut to ribbons, in a freak show. Just give me some support. Give your patient some dignity. Intubation complete, preparing to open. I was prepared to give this facility my full backing. No, you weren't. My trial, my call. Unless, of course, you want to tell Hanson that you've reneged on your duty. It's very close to the aorta. Too close. The valve will rupture when you remove the pole. Okay. Get ready, everyone. So. The aorta's holding. It's holding. <gasps> swabs, swabs. She's bleeding out, her BP's through the floor. Swabs. What are you going to do? Okay, we'll suture as best we can. We must clamp the aorta. If we clamp the aorta, it will compromise cerebral perfusion. She'll be brain dead. Look, Sahira, you tried. Just give it up. Let's close her up. Prepare to clamp the aorta. We'll clamp either side of the aortic tear. Keep her pressure to mean 60. Is it? Uh, Morag's daughter is obviously very upset. I hear you want to speak with them? Right. I think they could just do with some clarity. Um, you were on the shout with their mom, right? I know, I know. I froze. It's okay. Uh, they train us to speak to the relatives. I'm on it. No one's going to force you. Could 
to you just tell them I did try my best. Yeah. I didn't increase the blood. No. Scissors moving quickly. Suction. Graph, please, through your pruning. Fix the aorta from here. We've re <laughs> You did well today. It was a team effort. You pick your moments to shine, don't you? Hey, um, I'm sorry about snapping earlier. I must have sounded like a total monster. Better watch out, Naylor. You'll be the only senior staff member without a niche soon. It was a team effort. Glad it's not gone to your head. There's already rumours going around about you making a paramedic resign. Jules! What are you resigning for? I'm just thinking about it. Oh, forget it. Look, I... I panicked. I, I was stressed. I had no right. Come on, don't do this. I'm not going to be able to sleep at night. Morag survived. It's over. Really? Yeah. We saved her. I watched you in surgery. You love it, don't you? I don't have that in me. Come on, with a bit of practice, you'll be fab. Would you want me treating your kids? Be happy for me. I find something I'm good at. Well, your performance went some way to remind me of the skill I once perceived. Do not let the smog descend again. Miss Naylor was central to today's success. I had to make that clear. So, can we continue with the trial? Unless Miss Naylor has any concerns. Not as yet. Good. Continue. Thank you. Don't try and join in. No one likes the boss. Mind your bags. Coming through. Odds. BP80 over 40. Pulse 125.